Today we're going to have a look at how we can create a pie chart in Unity. This is really useful in game development. It's often shown to make a breakdown of how much damage has happened. For example, in League of Legends, they use it for magic, the physical, or the which players have done which type of damage. And this is something which you can reuse in lots of your different projects. So to start with, I've created three assets and just dropped them in. The one that you really need is just a circle PNG. You can make that in any piece of software you want. I've also included a link below if you want to download my three images that I've sprites that I've used. I've also included a link below if you'd like to download the three sprites that I've used. So first up, I'm going to go to my main camera. I'm going to set it to solid color and I'm going to make the background white. And I'm going to make my gizmos a little bit smaller. Okay, next up, you want to go to your game object, your UI, and you want to create a canvas. We're going to change that. You're going to change the canvas to world screen space. We'll drop the main camera in there. And then I'm going to set it to a planar distance of one. And then if it's not lined up for you, just click canvas and push F. And then you can get it nice and lined up in the screen. You want to look at it from the back because that's the way the camera's rendering it. So next up, let's create a game object, UI, image. I'm going to put the circle in here. I'm going to change the type of the image to filled. And now you can see that when you move this around, you get a pie that moves around. We actually want to do it from the top, not the bottom. So the zero is not, and then you can see it goes around from zero to one. And this is going to be pie chart level three, because we're going to do three levels to our pie chart. If you want more levels, all you will do is create more of these. And so just duplicate this twice. Or well, this one level two. And this one level one. And you want to give each of these a different color. I'm also going to duplicate the bottom one, pull it right to the top. This is going to be my background. I'm going to set that to black. And I'm going to make it just a tiny bit bigger. I'm holding down on shift so that I keep the proportions the same. Now I'm going to highlight all of them. And again, I'm holding shift to keep them to keep them all in the same aspect ratio. And now I made it nice and big and in the center. Now we need to create a script to make a pie chart. Let's actually put this into a scripts folder. Double click on your script and it should open in Visual Studio. First thing we need to do is add the UI library for Unity. You need to do this whenever you're going to use a UI. Next up, we want to create a reference to all of those images that we created. We also need values for each of those images. Next up, we have to write a function to set these values. So this function is going to receive an array of values and that and those values will be used to set the different sections of the pie. Initially, we'll use these values, but if you want to call it from a different script, all you have to do is send it an array of floats. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go through 
and we'll work out how much the first one should be, how much the second one should be, and then how much the third one should be. But to do this, we're going to need to kind of keep a running tally of what percentage it should be. So this is going to be our total values. And we're going to do this in a for loop, one for each of the images. Now in here, we're going to have to add something to our total values. But we're not quite sure what. So for now, I'm just going to leave it zero so I don't have an error. But we've got to now make something to work out what percentage the value is. So let's write a function for that. So what we're going to do is send it the whole array of values and the index of the one that we're currently working on. And then we need to sum up all of the values and then just take the value that's at the index and divide it. So it's just simple maths from high school. So your, your percentage is your value divided by the total value. So let's get the total amount. And you can do this simply by just going through a for loop and adding them all together. Then you'll notice this function returns a type float and you can see it's got this wiggly red underline because there's no return value yet. So we're going to do that next. And all we have to do here is work out our percentage and return it. So now we can go back to our total values and use that find percentage function. And we're using i as the index because that's where we are in the array. Now, to make this work, we need to set the images of the pie chart as we go in this for loop. So let's do that next. We also have to call our set values function in the start. And let's just send it those values that we're going to create in the slider script. And now let's go to Unity and check this works after saving. Now I'm just going to put the script onto the background. And you'll have to drop in your different levels of your pie chart. Remembering to put them in the correct order, which is why I numbered them before, so that I remembered which order they needed to go here. And we've got three different levels, so let's set three different values. They can literally be any number because this doesn't, you don't need to have them add up to 100 or anything. That find percentage function will work it out for you. Now you can see each time you enter play mode, it'll give you those three slices. So let's push these all to the side. We'll duplicate them and push them over here. And for these three, we're going to drag in our radial shading. And for the background, I'm going to use the overlay. And in this case, I'm just going to move that right to the bottom. I'm going to set it to white. And I'm going to make it the same size as the other. And you'll notice here that it's actually automatically updated the different variables inside your script. So let's just put some different values in here. Now hit play. And you can see this new item works. And you can use any images that you want to get this custom look. Next up, we'll create a script which will call that pie chart function to show you how you can use it in a real world way. And again, double click it to open it in Visual Studio. So we're not gonna need our start or update functions here, so we can delete all of this. 
And all we're going to do is make a public function that we can call from say a button on the UI. Now all I'm going to do is get three values in an array, generate a random value for each of those, and then apply it to the pie chart. Now you obviously inside your game, you might have your damage or whatever. You would do the same thing, but instead of generating three random numbers, you would send your damage. So finally, you're going to need to apply this using the set values function that we created inside the pie chart. All you have to do is call this function. So I'm just going to I'm actually going to place it on the same object so that when you click it, it'll just use the get component. If you don't want to do this, you could just create a reference to the pie chart at the top and drag it across in the editor. And this is all you need to do. Remember to save it and head back to Unity. Now I'm going to drop my call pie chart function onto both of the places where I have the pie chart. I'm going to go to my canvas. I'm going to add a button so that we can test this. I'm just going to write generate on it. And now you want to add, I'm going to add two spaces for functions. I'm going to drop the pie chart background into one and the other pie chart background into the other. Then you want to go call pie chart, generate random pie chart, call pie chart, generate random pie chart. Now let's have a look and see if this works. And that's how simple it is to make pie charts in Unity. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll always try and answer any questions you might have about this tutorial. Thanks for watching.